Hey guys, it's your girl Lashless Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? So today is my shop my stash, and I believe you're gonna be seeing this on Saturday. I don't know if you heard about what happened to my husband, but I'll kind of tell you about that real quick and then also about my son and myself and it was just all at once and it was just crazy so first of all my husband had a really bad reaction to something we still don't know what the main like what kind of snow we know it snowballed it but we don't know what started the re the bad reaction so he was allergic to something and we we're not sure what i mean he hasn't been to the allergist just yet but we do know what snowballed it so after he was really bad allergic and he started you know well had these whelps all over him and his eyes were starting to swell and his throat was getting a little scratchy first it was really really mild and it was just like a it just looked like a regular allergic reaction so my son Harrison is allergic to cats and he has a mild reaction like that he his eyes will get puffy he'll get webs all over him um like big splotches be really itchy and that's what happened to my husband and um initially we thought okay well maybe it was seafood but I mean he's ate seafood his whole life but we did eat seafood three days in a row which we normally don't but we had shellfish back to back to back um but then also he got cut at work and there was some installation there was some mold so we don't really know what kind of started the allergic reaction but we do know what almost killed him so he um didn't listen to me he's very stubborn and he went to just like a regular like one of those like fast places where you either go to check for COVID or if you have a cold. I, I don't know exactly what they're called. They're just like those little quick in and out places um, to be seen, you know, quick or whatever. Um, it's not a hospital and it's not our doctor. So it's just one of those little clinics. I guess it's a clinic. So he went to one of those. And, you know, he is not someone who regularly goes to the doctor. Like I have to make him most of the time. So. He went to the doctor and um, he went by himself. Um, he came back with a bunch of prescriptions and you know, he told me to read on there, tell him how to take it, blah, blah, blah. So I did and it got worse and worse and worse. And like he was taking the medication they prescribed to him. He has never had allergic reaction to anything and I've been with him for over 20 years. So I have never seen him like that in my entire life. So each day he looked more and more deformed. He looked more and more like he his throat was getting more closed. Um, his uh, throat started swelling up like a balloon. His lips started swelling like a balloon. His eyes started, started swelling like he was getting to where he was gasping for air, kind of like a fish. If you took a fish out of water, like a goldfish or something, out of water, they had like really big lips and they're, you know, gasping for air. He, that, he started doing that. He could not form sentences. He could not speak. It was scaring me to death. So I was like, no, you need to go to the hospital. Something is not right. You need to go to the hospital. He was still stubborn. So he went to, again, one of those little clinics. We waited. I promise you at least an hour and a half um, for and he was gasping for air and he kept saying I can't I'm not I can't breathe and I and then he kept going to the car and I kept thinking to myself he's gonna go to the car and he's gonna die and I'm not even gonna know it because he keeps leaving and they're not calling him back there so I went straight up to the front and I was like look if you guys do not see my husband right this second he is going to die we need to be seen right away he's having trouble breathing he had allergic reaction to something we have to be seen now or else we have to hightail it to DCH the emergency room whatever so they seen us right away so I, I like called my husband I was like we got we're gonna be seen just just please just drink water just breathe just keep looking at me just 
please. Like, I was so scared. Then he started turning purple. Purple. His lips had, they, he looked like he was already dead. His lips were purple. His hands did not have any pigmentation in it. They were purple. Both his hands were cold as ice. His feet were purple. His feet were cold as ice. Um, his blood pressure dropped. He normally has really high blood pressure. It dropped and it was dropping. His heart rate was dropping. The lady came up to me and she was like, um, there's nothing we can do for him here. You know, this is just like a little clinic. We treat colds and things like that and stitches. We don't treat serious things like this. She's like, you're gonna have to either drive to the hospital or we can call 911. I was like, you call 911. Call 911 right now. He is going to die. So then they start giving him oxygen. I put the oxygen thing on him and I, was, I kept saying, don't close your eyes. Keep looking at me, keep looking at me. And then he would close his eyes and then he would open them and he would, I told him to keep breathing, keep breathing. And then um, finally in like probably 10 minutes the uh, ambulance got there and after he got some oxygen in him he could talk a little bit better and he could talk to the ambulance uh, driver or whatever and he was like I don't I don't want to go to the emergency room here I want to go to the one that's an hour away and the guy looked at him and he looked at me and he's like he's he's not gonna make it an hour he's not gonna make it we have to take him now um and so my husband's so freaking stubborn i mean literally dying on the table and i told him i made all these calls like i was like you've got to save him take him to the nearest hospital i don't care you know take him to the nearest hospital I went with him and then they wouldn't let me in the hospital but I did get to ride in the ambulance but COVID with everything they won't let no matter how serious it is they won't let um, family members in so I went to my grandmother's and waited and waited and finally um, I got a call saying they gave him the uh, EpiPen and they had to watch him make sure everything went okay and finally, it was so scary, you guys. I was like trying to be brave and everything, but it was it was a terrifying experience. Like he literally almost died. I've never seen him like that in my entire life, and I was so scared. Um, and then after that, um, he still didn't feel like himself for I want to say another two weeks. Um, he couldn't do a lot. He still was like out of breath a lot. The doctor told him he needed to go get his heart checked because it could have put a strain on his heart. And he, all, the doctor also said, as the hospital said, if he would have kept, oh, I didn't tell you what the main thing was. Duh. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. But the doctor said if he had not have been made to go to the emergency room, his organs would have were about to shut down. His or organs would have shut down. Um, they were already, you know, started. Everything was already starting to unravel. We found out that the medication the first clinic gave him, he was deadly allergic to. <sighs> oh my gosh. And he was taking that every single day after the first bad reaction we still don't know what that was but he was taking the antibiotics that they gave him we did not know he was allergic to it he was taking it three times a day four times a day something like that and so we were basically he was basically killing himself and we did not know this until the hospital's like he is highly allergic to this stay away from this don't never take this again and we were like holy crap so now he has to carry an EpiPen with him um they're not cheap <laughs> and i was blown away to find out he was highly allergic to a medication because he never goes to the doctor so we didn't know he was allergic um yeah crazy crazy story my husband almost died um after that my son had a really bad allergic reaction and after i went through going through that with my husband 
I was like having like PTSD or something. I like started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Why is he allergic? Is he taking medicine? I thought it was like, is he allergic to Tylenol? Because sometimes he takes Tylenol for headache. But he's taken it before. I know he's allergic to our cat. So I think, um, and the cat is outside now. It's an outside cat. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe it got on the, the, she's very like, she's, she's called a rag doll. So she's very fluffy. So we think some of that got on the dogs or on our clothes or in the air. And he's highly, Harrison's highly allergic to, um, the dander and the cat. So, um, he, yeah, he scared the crap out of me. He was like, mom, my throat is really itchy. And I was like, oh my God. But I gave him Benadryl and it cleared up right away. So it wasn't serious like Andy's was like he was literally gonna die so anyway I have to take both of them to um a allergist to see what else they're allergic to because I can't go through this again you guys I was scared shitless I got the COVID shot you guys I got the Pfizer COVID shot so I got the first one no problem um, I did have a panic attack, but I think that was from something else. Then I got my second COVID shot and I felt like death. Now, the pharmacist did tell me the second shot was going to be really, really bad. And I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to be sore. No, I literally felt like I had like the worst flu ever so my whole body hurt my head hurt I felt like I was gonna throw up it was just like I felt like total crap for three days this is day four I'm feeling so much better I got to take a shower today I got to wash my hair put makeup on I'm feeling like myself again everybody else is feeling like please pray for our family that nothing else bad happens but you know we've had a hard hard couple of weeks you guys so it's been rough I'm not gonna lie it's been rough but I have missed filming I'm glad I'm back I hope everything is gonna be okay between my husband myself my kids my grandmother everything we're trying to get through um hopefully I'm hoping and praying that September is gonna pull through for us but let's go ahead and start our shot mustache okay so um for foundation I'm torn between three different ones. So, I've been missing this one. I haven't played with this one in a while. This is the Urban K Stay Naked, and I'm in 30 in in. You guys know, like, I really, really enjoy this foundation. It's very lightweight, but it does give you good coverage. I would say it's medium coverage. Um, I'm trying to pan some of my um, foundations and stuff, and... Like, I think, I feel like these two have the least amount of product in it. Um, so, I kind of, I think I'm going to pull this one. I think I'm going to pull the e.l.f. Um, this one is called, let me see what it's called. The Satin Finish, and I'm in Neutral. And it's just a $6 foundation from e.l.f. It's really, really good. It is gives you like a I would say more it's not matte and it's not dewy it's more like a satin finish um really pretty it gives you a little bit more of a natural look I would say it's a good light to medium coverage um but six dollars it's a really really nice foundation I think I heard they were maybe discontinuing this I'm not really sure if that's true or not let me know in the comments if you know um, but I want to see how much I have left in here and yeah, I'm just trying to cycle through a lot of my stuff. Um, so I think I'm going to pull this one for foundation for this week. Okay. For a concealer, I think I'm going to do, um, well, CoverGirl Milani or I really like the e.l.f. one and I really like this one too. Um, this one's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to pull the Milani. Okay. 
Um, oh, I could pull the elf, the elf hydrating one. Let me do that. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, so this one's the regular, the regular one, and this one is the hydrating one, right? Yeah. So I have a better shade match in the hydrating one. Um, I think I'm gonna pull. The, I'm gonna pull this one. So I am in the color it's light beige. So I'm in the color light beige and this one. So I think we're gonna pull these two for the week. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm pulling a lot of drugstore this week. So for the bronzer, I'm gonna pull my Milani bronzer. Um, this is the silk matte bronzer. It's really pretty. I have the color 03 suntan. So I'm going to pull this. And for my contour, I'm going to pull this one. It's the, the new e.l.f. Electric Mood Palette. Um, there is a bronzer in here, but I'm going to use it as a contour. Really creamy. And then there's also two really pretty cream, um, blushes in here as well. So I'm going to pull this palette and this. All right, for blushes, I'm going to pull these two. So this is the Cover FX blush duo. I think these were recently, or maybe they're not on sale yet, but if you want to pick these up from Ulta, I know they're going to be in the 21 days of beauty sale. So you get your blush on one side and your blush like topper or highlighter on that side. And I believe this one is in the color spiced cinnamon, which is perfect for fall. So I know I said I was doing drugstore, but I guess there's going to be a couple of non drugstore in here. Um, so this one is Lawless and this color right here is really beautiful and it is in the color Desert Rose. I'm going to pull that one as well. All right, for primer, I just recently repurchased one of my favorite drugstore primers of all time. So we are going to pull the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer. This stuff is bomb. So I'm going to pull this. All right, so for powder, let's see. Um, I kind of want to pull some powders that I don't use a lot. Um, so I was thinking either the Dior and try to give that one another chance or the Kosas because I feel like I don't like either one of these. Um, I think I might pull both of these and play with both of these because I really don't feel like I like either one. And I could give these to my daughter-in-law, Ashley. I think she would love them. Um, so I think I'm going to pull both of these. This is the Kosas press powder and this one is in Cloud set well it's called cloud set and it's in comfy and it's just a pressed powder um she has normal to dry skin so she might prefer that more than i would and this is the dior backstage what is it called i don't know what it's called face and body the dior face and body is what it's called so um and this is in shade i want to say shade two so I'm going to pull both of those uh, powders. So I have the um, uh, Brain Fart ColourPop Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the color. Let's see. What color are you? Can you even is what it's called. Can you even. So that we're gonna pull we're also gonna pull this one this is the ulta beauty um juice infused lip oils lip oils are very popular right now so i want to pull this one and i also have another lip oil that i want to pull again color pop this is the color pop 
Lux lip oil and this is in the color Hot Shot. Hot Shot. So that's what it looks like. Really beautiful. Um and let me see what else I got. I think I think this Ilia might be a lip oil as well. Let me read it and see what it says. This is glossy. Yeah, this is a lip oil too. Um, I really love this formula right here. The Ilia, um, the Ilia lip oil in the color Only You. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Um, so I think I'm going to pull these four for the week and then these two powders. All right, so... I had a very, very sweet subscriber send me some makeup from LA Colors. And so I'm going to pull some of those. I know it's drugstore, so I'm going to pull some of these. I've never tried LA Colors before. So this is the Brownie, the Browie Wowie is what it's called. It's LA Colors Browie Wowie um, Automatic Brow Pencil and Spoolie. So I'm going to give this one a try. I'll let you guys know how much I like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pull that brow product. And then she also sent me some palettes. So she sent me this palette, which I've never tried before. It is the Nude LA Colors palette. It's really pretty. Um, so let me set my camera down and I will show you guys. This is the palette that she sent me really pretty it's got a lot of pretty nudes in there so i'm excited to try this palette out and do some fun looks again this is the la colors nude palette she also sent me these other two palettes i'm gonna add these two because they're i just love shimmers and these have like they're all basically all shimmers so she sent me the shimmer eye palette and this is also the shimmer eye palette so Let's see, what color are they? Uh, okay, this one's called Beam, Beam Me Up Shimmer Palette by LA Colors. And this one is called Shine On Shimmer Palette by LA Colors. So, these are some fun palettes she sent me. So, thank you again. For sending me these palettes i'm gonna try them out this week also i'm gonna keep using my elf big mood mascara this week and i am going to for setting spray i'm gonna be using the rare beauty setting spray um this is supposed to be like a three-in-one type spray um you can spray your face you can set your face you can refresh so it has like a spa-like scent, but it's very, very light. It's, it's nothing heavy at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing with that as well. Now let's go ahead and do our giveaway. So what I'm gonna be giving away again, if you missed it, is the Elf Electric Mood Brush Set with a sponge. This is what it looks like. You will also be getting the elf um electric mood and this is the glossy highlighter it's the one i'm wearing today it's like very glossy um then also what i pulled from my shop my stash you're going to be getting the elf electric mood um cream face quad so it has two blushes a highlighter and a bronzer slash contour so you'll be getting those and then there's some samples and a makeup bag so that's everything that you'll be getting let's try not to show my dress but that's everything you'll be getting for this particular giveaway so i'm gonna go ahead and get my phone and pick a winner ready let's go drum roll please Dale. okay oh okay so Angela De Silvia. So congratulations. You'll be getting this package with all these 
elf goodies in it and yeah all you have to do is dm me your address and i'll mail it out to you guys or not to you guys to angela as soon as possible all right let's go ahead and go over what i'll be giving away for this week again you must be us only to participate in my weekly giveaways it's just a lot easier um and then uh let's see you must be subscribed to my youtube channel must be us only you must leave a comment down below and you must must hashtag shop my stash giveaway those are the rules okay so you're going to be getting this Sonia Kashuk bag. It looks so cute. It looks like a 101 Dalmatian. So you'll be getting that. And then basically some of my favorite, um, some of my favorite drugstore products is in here. So you're going to be getting the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer, which I pulled today and I love this stuff. I have repurchased these several times. So you're meeting that. You're also going to be getting um, the Versed cleansing balm which i absolutely love this i re recently fell in love with this i picked it up from target and i really really do like this so you're going to be getting this as well everything you are going to get is basically full size except for the versed the versed the versed i guess that's how you pronounce it um this one is a i don't know what you call it like a, it's not really a mini it's more like a deluxe size but everything else you're getting is full size so you're also going to be getting the ulta beauty um juice infused lip oil this these are so freaking popular right now so you're going to be getting one of those you're also going to be i'm dropping everything you're also going to be getting my favorite lip liner from the drugstore which is the nyx lip pencil in nude truffle so you'll be getting that as well. I'm running out of fingers. You're also going to be getting the Viral L'Oreal Lipstick. Um, I ordered these online in bulk in 800. I found them and they're all sealed and ready to deliver. I bought a bunch of these because I wanted to give them out to you guys. So these are TikTok famous apparently. I do have one of my own but this is the L'Oreal 800. It's like Ferris nude or something like that so you'll be getting that and you'll also be getting my favorite drugstore lipstick by L'Oreal the 173 pillow talk dupe you guys so you're gonna be getting all these goodies and also the makeup bag all you have to do again be subscribed to my youtube channel make sure to like my video leave a comment let me know something let me know what you're loving um let me know what you're trying out or what i should try out if you have any video recommendations or anything like that leave them in the comments and if you have any questions or anything leave them in the comments don't forget to hashtag shop my stash giveaway if you're interested in this and i will see you guys next time bye